what's going on YouTube how about you been a little while since I got on here right some y'all wondering what happened well, I'm getting some messages if we're still all right still alive uh, we're alive and well uh, me and Paul over here <laughs> we are doing this team thing temporarily this is day number 12 Ugh. <laughs> man so what's going on here uh, you know, people are asking if if uh, we're running permanent team or what's going on. What's what's going on here? Um, the way we do it here at RST is we don't put anybody on the bus. Um, you know, everybody's out there that's been driving any amount of time has done their time on the gray dog. You know, I've I've done my time. Uh, Paul's done his time and laid over in Chicago, sleeping on the floor, using your bag as a pillow. Man, it sucks. So we try not to do that, um, only as a last resort. Um, we're uh, ordering a truck, and uh, most of you guys know it takes time. We're not a big company, you know. We're not a Prime. We're not a Swift. We don't have a whole parking lot full of empty trucks. So we order a truck as we need them, you know. As as a new driver is hired on, then we'll order a truck, and it takes uh, a week to two weeks. To get that truck in um, get it inspected get it weighed get it plated um, get it decaled put all the RST stickers on it you know um, get it ready to go so it takes about a week to two weeks for that to happen so versus the new driver Paul here versus him sitting at home you know uh, not getting paid needing money uh, and anybody you know uh, we all need money that's what we're out here for right so Instead of him sitting at home for two weeks or, or the new driver sitting at home for two weeks waiting and then you got to get on a damn Greyhound for who knows how long to get here. Uh, I was in the area and uh, I've kind of adopted the title of ambassador, one of the ambassadors here at RST. Um, Chris, uh, if, if me or, right now if me or Chris are in your area and you're coming on with RST, we're going to come pick you up, you know. So, Paul was good, he was hired on, good to go, and I was in the area. So, the way it worked out is, as soon as he grabbed the door handle to get in the truck, he was on the payroll, all right? So, why not get paid, you know? Uh, run team, uh, learn how the Qualcomm works, learn the system here, learn RST, you know? Uh, kind of an orientation on the road. So, that's what's going on. We're not driving team, uh, not training. Hell, he's been driving for 20 some years. He's been teaching me some new tricks, you know. Um, we all learn from each other out here. That's just the way it goes. But that's what's going on. Uh, this is day number 12. <laughs> Man, it's rough. It's rough, you know. Um, I'm not a solo driver. Paul's not a solo or a team. I'm not a team driver. Paul's not a team driver. Um, so going from a solo situation uh, into a team situation, it's rough, guys. It's rough, guys. And this would be pointed towards uh, towards the students and the trainers also that are going to be running teams, you know. Um, it's rough. It's really rough. Um, you know, constantly the truck's trying to constantly move, you know. Um, I'd say I, I'm just now. Uh, on day 12, maybe a couple days ago, uh, we were able to actually get some sleep while the truck was moving, you know. Um, so that was like 10 days, you know. Anywhere from, from a week to 10 days, uh, you're kind of just flopping around like a fish back there in the bounce house, we call it, you know, trying to trying to get some sleep while you're going down the road. And uh, it's, it's rough, you know. You know you've got to sleep, and it, you're like being pressured to sleep. You know, it kind of sucks. And we're tired, so we're getting all jacked up on coffee and, and Mountain Dew and, and energy drinks and all that shit. And then we parked it, you know, we stop, and now it's time to go to sleep, you know. Um, so we're all jacked up on Mountain Dew, man, and, and it's time to go to sleep. So it's hard, you know. You're flopping around like a fish back there for, for five or six hours, and, and you might get a couple hours of sleep, you know. And now it's your turn to drive. Um, it's tough, man. It's really tough. Um, especially for you students that are coming through 
um, that are unfamiliar with the truck, period. You know, it's a whole new uh, experience out here, uh, going to different places. Um, you're, you're hanging out with a stranger um, and you're in a, like a learning, uh, you're in school, you know, um, but the school is going down the road. So um, it might take a little bit longer to adjust. Um, you know, a couple tips that, that we figured out, and I'm sure some of you trainers or, or, or full-time team drivers have figured this out, um, is close the curtain. Close this damn curtain. You know, don't be shy. Uh, close the damn thing. It cuts off some noise, uh, makes it dark back there. And for you trainers, you guys are, are already out here established and making money, buy yourself a nice uh, uh, memory foam mattress They're a couple hundred bucks you can get them uh you know 150 bucks or whatever but um a couple hundred bucks for the good one all right spend that money guys get you a nice uh a real thick foam mattress because what's going on on these standard issue truck mattresses you can kind of see one there on the top bunk you know it's kind of standard issue um it's a spring mattress you know it's got springs in there so as you're going down the road trying to sleep, you're sitting on springs. You're, you're, it's kind of like uh, uh, trying to sleep on a trampoline, you know. Um, so every bounce of the truck is, is amplified through that damn spring mattress, you know. Um, and our mattress here in this truck, it's a regular standard issue truck mattress. And then uh, Chris put like a four inch uh, memory foam topper that he picked up at Walmart on there. And it helps. You know but you're still you're on springs you know so every bounce you're you're trying you're flopping around um the only way i can explain it is like trying to sleep in a bounce house with a bunch of kids jumping around in there you know um it sucks it sucks so spend that little bit of extra money for your student you already know you were you were a student one time too so you know what this is like so get you a nice mattress close the curtain um turn the speakers off you guys listen to the radio or whatever um go in the settings hit the fader and bring the sound to the front turn the speakers off in the back you know for for you freightliner guys cascadia guys uh there's a switch back on the back panel where you can turn off the sleeper uh speakers you know um turn the turn the music off back there and and whoever's driving needs to have a little bit of respect for who's in the back you know um keep it down keep the music down um keep everything down try to be quiet as much as you can you know but at the same time you got to stay awake and drive so you need some sort of of uh stimulation you know uh, uh, turn on the radio uh, talk on the phone do something you know but try to keep it down to a minimum but uh there you go guys we are alive and well day 12 uh it is currently uh saturday april 22nd at uh about eight o'clock in the morning and uh, for me, I've been out eight weeks, all right? I've done quite a few. I've done a couple live feeds over on Facebook um, through this whole process and uh, haven't done any YouTube thing. And, uh, you know, I, I always shoot you guys straight. And the reason I haven't done any videos is because I haven't felt like it. We've been tired, been too damn tired. I'm not gonna get on here and say, what's up guys? You know, it's just, that's not me, you know? Um, but we parked for a little while. Uh, we both went in, got showers. Uh, we got we got coffee, and we're getting ready to roll uh, over to pick up. And we're probably going to go sit over there and wait and load. It's going to take a few hours before our appointment time, and we got to get loaded. So we're getting all jacked up on coffee, and we're going to go wait somewhere. <laughs> so that's the way it is. That's the way it is. You know. Uh, but we're doing good. Um, been out eight weeks. I'm feeling it. Uh, this load that we're going to pick up right now is going to take me home. All right. Uh, I'm getting the new truck. Paul is taking the Lone Star. Okay. So if you see this RST Lone Star, it's a white Lone Star. Y'all seen it in videos and pictures all over there. There's one and one only and will probably be the only one. There's one white RST Lone Star here. And as of Monday, April 24th, it's Paul's. I'm gonna hand him the keys. We'll make a little video of me handing him the keys there, you know. Um, so if you see it out on the road, Paul's a good dude, go ahead and say hey, but uh, it ain't me. <laughs> so don't go banging on the door at five o'clock in the morning wanting a cupcake gang sticker or, or whatever, you know. 
Um, it, it ain't me come Monday. Uh, I'm going to do a truck tour video of my new truck. I'm getting a 2016 uh, Kenworth T680. Fully loaded. Uh, RST specs, fridge, freezer, uh, microwave, satellite TV, satellite radio, the whole works. Uh, it's going to have the Cummins. Uh, we got it cranked up to uh, 475 horse and 2050 foot pounds of torque. Uh, gonna be running a 13 speed, and it's gonna be a nice truck, All right? But I'll do a whole video on that. I'm gonna do a truck tour video on that, and uh, picking that up Monday, picking that up uh, April 24th on Monday, first thing in the morning. And uh, Paul's gonna kick me out of here, and I'm gonna get all my shit and go and move into the new truck, and I'm going home. I'm taking a week off, all right, so if you guys don't see anything coming from me for about a week on any platform at all, that's because I'm sitting on the porch drinking beer, or I'm out fishing with my boy, or doing something around the house, all right, so that's what's going on, but we're live and well, um, this team thing is coming to an end, and um, remember what I said about the you trainers or guys that are thinking about getting in the team, spend the money on the mattress. All right, it's 200 bucks. If you guys can't afford a $200 mattress, then maybe uh, you, you need to, to watch some of my other videos on how to manage your expenses, right? <laughs> so there you go. I'm going to get off here. We're going to roll out. And uh, remember, like I always say, be the professional. Set the example. Uh, help your brothers and sisters out here. Help revive the brotherhood. Let's try to make trucking great again. I'll talk to you guys later.